Hello and welcome. In this video, I want to give you a tour of the on-demand processing queue. What is it? The on-demand processing queue you can find here, and it is a list of jobs to be further processed. And what I mean by that is you do a search, and you will f have scenes and files that you wish to apply further processing. And at ASF, we give you that feature to do that, and we will do that processing for you. Right now, we support RTC Gamma, Insar Gamma, and Auto Rift. There will be more processing types in the future. But how did these items get here? Well, you do a search in Vertex, and here you see that I'm doing an SBAS search, and I got a result set here down below. And of course, you can move this up and down to view it as easily as you'd like. But you can come here and you can say that you wish to add an RTC Gamma job, um, INSAR job, or an AutoRIF job. And that feature is available anywhere you see this on demand logo, these three blocks. And so you can select different pairs here that you're going to add further processing to, or you can come up here and take everything in your result set and add that to your on demand queue. So that's how they get here. We can go and I can say, well, add these two SLC jobs. And you notice that you get a message saying that two are added, and the little icon here has a six now instead of a four. So as you add them, you'll get a count of how many jobs are in your queue. If I come down here and I say add an SLC job for INSAR Gamma, once again, you see the message, and you see that we're now at seven in the queue. If you click on the queue again, go to the on-demand queue, you will see here that we have the four uh, RTC Gamma uh, uh, files, two INSAR Gamma, and an auto rift. And here you can tab between them and you can, you can change the type processing types, excuse me, the processing types associated with this or the parameters. You can change radiometry to be gamma or sigma, power to be power, amplitude, etc. And each processing type will have different parameters that can be changed for that job process. So here you see the ones for INSAR gamma and Auto Rift has no processing types currently. You can see that you have seven jobs to submit. You have the ability to clear the jobs, and when you do that, you can clear all of the jobs or just certain types of jobs. But let's say I'm happy with this and I want to go ahead and submit these. You see that I, it says I have 198 jobs left this month, and I'm going to submit seven jobs. This limit of 200 jobs a month will also change, and you can submit more in the future. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and say I'm going to submit these seven jobs. When I su try to submit them, it says, OK, give it a project name. For right now, I'll just go demo one. And I can go ahead and submit these seven jobs. There you see they've been submitted. In that way, now you can come up here to the on-demand icon, and you can view the submitted products. And here you will see the seven jobs that I just sent off to be processed. They're pending the processing. And you can see other jobs that I had submitted in the past, and they're down here. And you have a limit where they will expire, and you won't be able to view the work anymore. But if you've processed the job, you can come here and then download it. And that is the on-demand processing system at ASF. If you want to find out more, we have a manual written for you that describes the process in great detail here, and it's called the Hype Manual. Hype is the processing engine behind our on-demand system. You can also find that same um, manual here in the Hype User Guide. And that is an introduction. I hope you enjoy this, and we will add further features in the future. Thank you for watching.